So in the last videos, we basically would have seen a lot of um, equipment made by O'Donovan Engineering. And today we've come, I suppose, to the, to the factory here, Damien. And uh, we've come, I suppose, to see firsthand your business. You're in business a long time. We yeah. are, yeah, welcome, firstly. Um, yeah, we're in business now 43 years. Uh, started in 1978. Um, we employ close on 60 people now at the moment. Uh, you can see like we're going from strength to strength, uh, thankfully at the moment. Uh, the business was founded by my mother and my father um, back in 1978. And shortly after, my uncle Dermot, uh, he joined the business as the, as the head of sales. Um, my father continued the innovation. My mother left her job in the bank and came working full time. So it grew from there. So how did the business come about? Was your father into steel work? And yeah, my father always would have been into, look, tinkering, inventing, always innovating was always his thing, still to this day. Is, is, there isn't a day goes by that he comes up with a new invention. Um, quality was always a strong point of his. Um, you know, using the best materials he could find, give it the best finish, leaving it last as long as possible. You know, you just have to have the quality in this business. You're, he's, he started galvanizing all the products, so initially it would have been a lot of piggery equipment, um, a lot of the dairy equipment locally, beef sheds, this kind of stuff, and it went from strength to strength from there on. Okay, so it was an operating farm here to once upon a time, was it? You were milking cows here? Yeah, we were milking cows here. There was a couple of beef cattle. Um, that all ended in uh, about 1978, up to 1980. Look, he still ha always had a couple of cattle. Um, luckily for him he was allowed to get cattle back again in 2013 so he's very happy now he's a couple of sucklers uh, pedigree hereford and um and angus so he's he keeps yeah. himself busy so it's a good mix the engine you know the engineering ability plus the farming experience he knew what he was about yes, he had yes it on both sides. exactly we have both sides and again with our staff it's something that we do take great pride in a lot of our our sales and engineering team come from a farming background so they have an awful lot of experience in the day-to-day use of every piece of equipment you know they're they're going to spot a problem long before it's ever made yeah so you're obviously a big employer in the local area as well we mean? are we are thankfully we've uh, we do have a lot of employees uh, most of them are local we uh, have a lot of long 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 standing employees um, most a lot of them are there longer than myself um, which which is interesting especially when you're when you're raised by some of the employees from a a young age makes things interesting. A free education. A free education, yes, yeah, yeah, I believe so. So do you do apprenticeships here or what, what kind of um, we do are available for young people here? Yeah, we do a lot of apprenticeships here, always looking for people. Uh, we do fabrication, welding, metal fabricating obviously, uh, CNC work, a lot of general operatives. In terms of the markets you're selling into, have you an export element as well as the Irish market? We do, we've quite a quite a large export element. Um, we have the Irish market obviously is very, very busy at the moment. Uh, we deal quite a bit with the UK, um, mainland Europe and an awful lot in Iceland. Um, we have a good bit in uh, Saudi Arabia, UAE, exporting our products out there. They, they, there's a very, very, very strong demand for high quality product. They can see the value in it. So how are you getting those inquiries? Is it on websites or have you sales people traveling? All websites. Um, luckily we have a very, very good marketing team. So look, they do keep on top of things. They're able to handle queries very, very quickly. Get the information back to the sales guys who were able to deal with it remotely. Um, all in Ireland and England, we will have, we do sales guys that are visiting, that are on the road every single solitary day of the week on the phone, basically seven days of the week. Brexit then and the effect of, uh, on your business with the UK has our sales up or down because of Brexit? Uh, sales are up at the moment but that's mainly driven through the Irish market. Yeah. Um, Brexit luckily at the moment hasn't affected us except for our procurement of product obviously has caused a delay um, in various bits and pieces. Some of the companies used to deal with in the UK were currently unable to deal with because they can't supply. Right. Okay. So I suppose with the growth in the dairy industry over the last few years Obviously, demand has increased a lot. You've, you've benef benefited from that with the whole expansion of the dairy sector here in Ireland. We have massively, massively. You were well positioned to take that on. We were, luckily, we had a very, very good name in the, in the industry with, long, with products that last an awful long time. So when we have a good history there, we're able to build upon it. And you're, we've got returning customers that are coming back, um, doing their expansion, doing the full job, every single solitary piece of it. 
so it's it's very very good for us and again this has allowed us to expand internally so to invest into the business and invest in better better work processes invest in our people that are working here because of the people are the biggest asset that you're going to have in a company especially the likes of ours um we're again we're very very lucky that we have such yeah. great people working here yeah and i think it's a huge benefit to the dairy industry the the revenue creates in rural areas like this like our own business in grass tech uh it creates employment there's a lot of positives not mentioned about it but it does create a lot of um you know revenue for companies in rural ireland that otherwise might not benefit so the dairy, the dairy industry has been a great benefit to businesses like yourself and ours 100 percent. like if you just take local dairy farms here um like these are all big employers even the even the the dairy farms we then are supplying to them we are growing we are there's shops businesses schools pubs that are all benefiting from this yeah and it's all coming from the farming from yeah. the agri sector predominantly dairy yeah where like the investment is it's just trickle down yeah everyone is getting a benefit from it and not er not every industry can get into rural ireland the dairy industry has that impact yes yes 100 percent. so damien this is where your administration say and um various functions are are, are operated so well, like day to day who's running the business at the minute uh day to day it's myself and my sister uh, my mother and my father still have a massive involvement obviously but they are beginning to step back um, my mother more so she's very happy to take a step back my father less so but it's uh, he will always and ever be heavily invested in this business just these day-to-day -day innovations right. and say your sister Deirdre and, and yourself what roles have you have you any specific roles that uh, yeah you so my sister Deirdre she's the general manager uh, I'm classified as a technical sales um, manager I do a lot of the true test weighing um, EID uh, farm automation um also a lot of tech support just with various bits and pieces from day to day that the customers may have a query with right okay so you have a shop display area here for maybe people that come in off off the road yes so we can maybe have a look at that maybe yeah, your store facility as well yeah we can walk down here yeah we can have a look at the at the display area and i can show you the stores okay so, so damien there's a lot i suppose there's an absence of shows in the last uh year or two with covid um I suppose this, a facility like this is useful to maybe bring people in where they have questions. Yes, yes, it is. Um, look, the shows are sorely missed. Uh, go out and meet the public, but we do have the facility that customers can come in and physically see the product here. Um, we do our best to change up the display. Look, you've got cubicles, you've got your uh, your barrier, self locking stalls, moving barrier, crush equipment. You know, there's a bits and pieces of everything. Uh, we also have a display farm, um, so customers during the winter time. If a customer wants to see a specific item in use, it can be arranged that they can see it in use with animals so they can get a good uh, understanding of what a specific, a specific product does. Right, okay. And shows, are they important? Massively important. Why? Yes. Uh, look, you're, you get actually to meet face to face with the general public. Um, you can discuss various elements of their business, of our business, you know, product innovations that they may see, whereas the customer may not be willing to ring you up and you know say what they need or, or ask the question or if, if if they saw the need for a new product but when you when you sit down and speak to the customers face to face it is it's quite rewarding very good so is this a dispatch area or is this um what would you this is all um a store area yeah so this is pure product um sheep handling equipment mainly um we do our best to try and look this is quite quick moving comes in uh, this is one of the very very little products that we would actually purchase in um, this purchase in the UK again with, even with our suppliers we we do our best to get the best quality because we do make probably 80 to 90 percent of what we sell it's designed in-house and manufactured so when you when there is a product that a customer requires that you may not need that you may not make we like to have a, an avenue for the customer to supply them what they need and not lose the sale exactly not yeah. use the sale yeah. there's always bits and pieces well, with cost with a custom element even in your procured product where you'll have to make up a specific gate or maybe a curve race or some custom element for a customer to fit into their specific unit and we it's nice to have the the main bigger bits that are you know straight lines just get those done out of the way okay. sure we have a look so at your store maybe up here yeah yeah we can just show you the store so Damien, what are we looking at in here? So look here, you know, we're looking at our um, our stores and dispatch area. Um, we store all of our products that come back from galvanizing our, our clamps, hangers, 
you know, all the bowls, fixtures, fittings that are required for the products. Stored in the store, um, packed up, ready for the customer or ready for the for our drivers to dispatch or by courier. Uh, we also have our uh, true test repair area, which is upstairs. Um, so we, we would service an awful lot of weighing scales in here. Look, we've been dealing with true test for the last 35 plus years. Um, are you the main agent in the country? We are the main distributor, yeah. Yeah, yeah main agent for them. Um, all the servicing is done in-house. We carry every single solid tree replacement part. Um, we have an awful lot of... Uh, Awful long, long, long history with True Test. It's a, just a fantastic product. It always has been. Damien, your the business would have started in the, in the farmyard. Exactly. Yeah, the business started in the farmyard over alongside our our home house, which is in, directly in the middle of the factory you now at the moment. Um, over the years, as the need was required, it ex, it expanded. One down, like these were chicken houses at one stage. Uh, my grand my grandmother's chicken houses. Um, it then extended, started to go up the hill. Like this has all been dug out into the side of the hill, um, as we've got, as we've had the need to go up with pipe benders, welding sheds, and plasma went down. Our um, main offices went in here, and we're, now we're continuing the expansion up, uh, where we have our, our storage and our yards. Okay. Um, and so you've concrete trucks here today. What are what, you, what are you? Concrete trucks here today, uh, coming all over and back. Steel lorries were. So what's the next project construction wise here? Uh, next project here at the moment is um, an extension to our existing yard. So for storage, so our galve trailers uh, for offloading basically. Is that all our offloading area is going over onto the right hand side now. Um, you see there's quite a bit of work in here. Just fresh, fresh concrete going in. Yeah. Um, this was all dug out a week ago. Um, all being set all being set down now so we'll be able to put all our, our racking on this side for for our storage of pipe and you know kind of higher running products again so that we can offload and our combi lifts can come up into the yard grab their bales and go back down into the production floor and it allows us more space on this side for loading and material product or material storage right and say in terms of transport are you using all the contract say are you do you subcontract so we're, that? We're, we're or have your own trucks? Our, our galvanizing is subcontract. Yeah. Uh, we have our we have two two of our own trucks. Um, we a smaller truck. We've just got a, a brand new Scania. Uh, only last week. It was a long time coming, but our our older truck really served us well. For deliveries, is it? Hmm? Is this for deliveries? This deliveries. Yeah, 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 yeah. On farm deliveries. Yeah. And again, we're we're gifted with a very very uh, excellent driver. Where he's uh, been with us for a long, long, long time. He was he used to do fitting as well, but he's again from a farming background. Knows the the copy lift there now. So Monaghan made machine there. Monaghan made machine. Happy yeah. with them? Yeah, yeah, excellent, yeah. excellent. Oh, fantastic machine. Yeah, the old Moffat's uh, service serving us well. Um, nice bit of kit. Very surprised how they handle the off-road terrain actually. Um, up and down the hills, but we we have two here now. And JCB, is you're a fan. JCB, we're a fan of them. Yeah. yeah. Why? Huh? Why? Look, they just work. Like that's that machine is 2010. Like it's 11 years old, daily use. You get tires and servicing. That's it. Yeah. So Damien, as your your business is expanding here, you're looking for people, I believe, are you? Always what positions are you looking people. to fill? We're looking for engineers, we're looking for general operatives, absolutely everything at the moment. Um, like you need people, these kind of businesses don't run on fresh air and it's the people that we need the most. Yeah. It's a good complaint. It is, it's a great complaint at the moment, like yeah. look, that, that the business is able to just scream out for people. Yeah. And look, in the locality we do have a lot, a, a great, a, a lot of great people. Yeah. Coming, but we've, we've basically taken everyone local as far as I can see. Yeah, no traffic jams to contend with. Not um, yet, not yet. You know, so hopefully in the future, but we'll yeah. talk about that later. It's on. an easy commute for people who are, might be living in the area. There, there are pluses to working in a rural company oh, like. Oh, there is, there yeah. is. Yeah, massive. No, no traffic jams. Where, you know, if your if your car breaks down, we can collect you. We can bring you in. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, it's it's a nice place to work. Look, yeah. I have to say. Great. Yeah. So what we're going to do? Maybe you were saying there, Bart might um, your production yeah, manager yeah. might take us through the and see some of the machines and 
yeah. I think people like to see the machines operating. Yeah, I'll hand you over to Bart, Bart O'Sullivan, our production manager, and um, he'll be able to show you from how all these lovely bits of shiny metal actually yeah. can't go from, from this yeah. to this. Very good. No, thank you for your time and thank you, best Martin. of luck with the future. You too. Thank okay, you. Thank you.